We will be testing out another older model reproduction revolver today, this time a Colt 1860 replica made by Army Sam Paolo. Army Sam Paolo is one of the larger manufacturers of reproduction guns during the time they were in business, which was from about 1973 to the year 2000. In 2001, the company then became EuroArms, which I believe is still in business, but don't appear to be making black powder revolvers anymore, at least as far as I can tell. The revolver we have here has a date code of AD, which puts it at being made in 1978. It's also marked on the top of the barrel Richland Arms, which was a firearms importer that was mostly known for their line of inexpensive shotguns, but imported a number of black powder guns as well, and they've been out of business since about 1986 or so. This revolver differs from your standard 1860 by having the barrel, frame, and cylinder left in the white and given a pretty nice engraving pattern on the frame and barrel, with the cylinder still having the typical Colt 1860 Navy battle scene. This revolver is in really nice shape and has obviously been taken pretty well care of over the past 44 years, and I've been pretty anxious to try it out since I picked it up. Well, today is that day, so let's go out to the range and try it out. Okay, so we'll be shooting at an IDPA target set up about 15 yards away. And the load I'm using in this today, it's 25 grains of GoX 3F black powder with a Hornady 454 round ball. And I'm using CCI number 10 percussion caps. All right, well, let's see what this can do. Alright, let's go look at the target. So not too bad. I was aiming here at the down zero mark and it's hitting up here and about the neck head level, which is a difference of about uh, maybe five or six inches or so, which isn't necessarily uncommon for a Colt style percussion revolver, but it seems to be shooting pretty good. That's not a bad group. That's maybe three inches or so at 15 yards. Not too shabby. All right, I'm going to patch those up and take a few more shots. And again, another nice group. I did pull one a little high. That was my third shot, I believe, and that was all me. That wasn't the fault of the gun. So again, everything else right in about three inches or so at 15 yards. I like it.
My shooting there was a little sloppier. Again, no fault of the gun, that was all me, but still, not bad. We got four clustered in there, and then these two I pulled a little low. But yeah, I think that thing's gonna be a shooter. All right, there we go. A quick look at the Army San Paolo 1860 revolver. This is certainly one of the nicer reproduction revolvers I've handled so far. It's pretty accurate. It's well made. And I was having a few issues with the caps binding up the cylinder, the spent caps. But that's pretty common with the Colt replicas, so I'm not holding that against the revolver at all. Uh, again, this is a really nice, very well made revolver, and I'm certainly glad to have it in my possession. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching and please feel free to leave a comment below.